Today we're going to be exploring the Surface Pro 11. Now, the main reason why I picked this up is because I really, really want to be able to, you know, play with Linux and all those other things without needing to bring a mouse, a keyboard and all the different things with me. And now that we have Windows subsystem for Linux, I can easily put that on here. That's my goal. That's what I want to do. And I want to really just play with it. Plus, I want to get back into the Windows ecosystem and be able to play with it without having to worry about it being my work machine or if I break something or something like that. So let's dig in. So first things first, we're going to open up this right here. This is actually a Ugreen charger, which is 130 watts, which means it can charge any laptop. My MacBook Pro 16 inch, my new Windows, my iPad, whatever, I can use this. This is pretty cool because that means I no longer have to use my actual real cable to plug into the cigarette lighter, have that loud fan blowing and all that other stuff. This does it in a much smaller form factor. So I'm definitely happy about this. and. Let's jump into it, get it open, see how it looks. Now, one of the ports to my, from my understanding is actually going to give us a hundred watt output. The other two I think is not. So let's take a look at it real quickly. Oh yeah, this is beefy. So this is a hundred watt out, this one right here. And then I'm assuming these are 15 watt or maybe 30 watt if I'm only using one. But this bottom one is 100 watt, which is what I wanted. And it also gives me a little cable USB-C that comes with it. So I really like that a lot, like seriously. All right, this is the Microsoft Surface 11. And the cool thing about it is this is the one that has the 32 gigs of RAM. So one terabyte, if something come out bigger than one terabyte, I would be able to swap this out. It's hot swappable, kind of easy to take apart. So we're going to open it up. I can see the pull tab is right here. Let's see if there's one on this side. It's not. And we we'll just lift it. That is by far one of the easiest unboxings I've done. We got the pull tab right here. And we could put this to the side for a second. When we look at what else is in the box, we have a charger. Oh, okay, this is a special charger, as you can see. Got that little piece to it. So I uh, wonder if it can charge off USB-C all the same. Then we got our brick, which is right here. Up in here, which is a guy looks like, appears to be documentation. We could put that back right here. And that's it. That's everything in the box. So on here, you can see it's showing us the the positioning. So we got the power button, volume up, down, microphone, camera, mic, plug in. Looks like we got two USB C ports, and I guess this is for the power. Yep, because we got that right there. And that's it right there. Now, I do have some accessories to go with this just because, honestly, I'm just not comfortable with just rocking it like this. I know some people are. Unfortunately, this cost me quite a bit of money, so I definitely want to protect it. So to that end, first things first, I'm going to put this to the side. I decided to grab the Microsoft Surface Pro. Now, this is the Flex Keyboard with Slim Pen. So this is the one that's the newest one. It's a little bit more expensive, but since this is my first Surface Pro, honestly, I, I can't tell you if it's the best or not. And I really like this door hinge. Like this is pretty cool. The fact that they made this a door hinge that I could just pull this tab. And then this opens like a door, like, come on. That is pretty, pretty cool. Now, at first typing, I do, I, I like the, I like the travel, puts me in the mind of a slim mechanical keyboard. So I like that is definitely some resistance to it. The pen, I mean, if I can even get it out, it's locked in. The pen is different. It is a button. It does vibrate. Yeah, the pen is okay. I mean, coming from the Apple Pencil, like, 
This isn't like I'm not. This isn't like earth shattering awesome. It's just okay. Something is better than nothing type deal. The magnet on here is super strong. Even when I was just going to place it down, the magnet just took it. So that part, I like that a lot. I could pick this up right here. One of the main notable features that I like about this is this is not chargeable. Like I don't have to charge it. It draws power directly from the Surface Pro. I really like that part about it. So you can see I got the co-pilot button on here now. So I got co-pilot. So we're going to see how that worked. If it really works really good, then I can ditch ChatGPT because from my understanding, that's a part of the AI that it's using. And we're going to look in the box and that's it. So this one right here, it's really, really simple. Again, I really like that door closing. All right. So to put this together, you see the two at the bottom literally just magnetizes. Well, I thought it would find this way, but I was wrong. There we go. And now we can pull this little flap out and we can actually sit that on the ground if we want to, or we can have it like this. Now, at first glance, I like the angles of it, but if I'm being honest, I don't like that it feels so, I don't want to say flimsy because it's probably not the best word for it, but I don't like that it feels, I don't know, easily breakable. This I would probably always leave laying flat because I don't like how it feels when it's not to keep the trackpad. Mm, I won't know much about that until I actually use it. But this is the setup right here. Now, I didn't like that this would be exposed. So in good old fashioned wheel style, I bought another accessory to take care of that. So this is the accessory I picked up. Now, this is honestly, I don't know if this is going to work. Like I said, I've never had a Surface Pro before. I've never had a Surface before in general. So, you know, a lot of the things I've seen online has been people upset about the previous one or how it's better this time around. I can't speak to that because I never had it. I've never, ever been in Microsoft ecosystem outside of my work laptop. So this is the first time I'm ever spending my money on a Microsoft product in a very long time. And back in the day when I did, it was because I couldn't afford a Mac. So, you know, just for reference. So this right here is the case that I'm going to be using. It's, it's definitely different. I get them that. So I wanted a case that still showed off the device. Like I didn't want to hide the device in a case. So this still shows off the device, but it covers up the back. So let me see how that works. All right, so this is the final look of it. Once it's in a case, I actually like it. So this flaps allow me to grab right here and I'm able to sit it up and the entire device is now covered. So I don't have to worry about it. Now, I did get one more accessory for it, which is a privacy screen, but I don't think I'm gonna put it on yet because I wanna see how it operates without that first. So this is the privacy screen that I got for it. So when I'm out of the cafe or something, I don't have to worry about someone being able to see what's on my screen. So I got this, but I'm not gonna put it on yet. I wanna experience this without that. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I could turn it on. All right, we back up. So I can just say accept. The device name is going to be must be wheel. Say next. I think must be wheel is the closest I've ever come to just using my real name, which is Will. I usually use digital DIY geek or something like that in the marketing space, but it's kind of cool. Oh, it popped back on and saying just a moment. Okay, so. I'm going to actually sign in now. I know my diehard Linux lovers, y'all not going to like that, but 
I want to sign into my device because I want my device attached to my account. I feel like that's one of the better things or one of the things people miss out on by not signing in. So I'm going to sign in right quick. Uh, it's asking me if I want to do face ID. So I guess I can go ahead and do it right now. Now it's asking me to create a pen. All right. So I created my pen. We're on to the next step. All right. So this is basically choosing my privacy. Honestly, again, I, I just like exploring technologies. I don't care about all this stuff from being completely and honest. I'm not a diehard, you know, open system, open source type dude. I'm just going to say next. I just want the product to work as good as possible. And I, so we can see is must be will. Okay. So I do not want to restore from that. So I'm going to say more options. I don't want to restore from any of these. So I'm going to set this up as a new PC. All right. So let's customize our experience. I'm going to say developer and creativity. And honestly, I got my Mac for business and things like that. But let's just do it anyway. Let's 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 see the full experience because these would be the three development, creativity and business. Those would be the main three that I want to use this for. So let's set it up. It says use your phone from your PC. Uh, do I really want to do this? I don't think so. I'm going to skip it. And that's basically just allowing my phone to connect. It says back up your phone's photo. I'm going to skip that because, again, I got iCloud. Allows have access to your recent browse data. I am going to accept this. I know it's going to be a lot of people say I shouldn't have. But all right. So I'm, I already got Office 365. So I can just say continue. Let's see. Your device comes with free Xbox Game Pass Unlimited. Finishing up. Awesome. All right, so this is the Surface. It is nice having talent fresh out the box coming from Mac. So Surface Pro connected. All right. Oh, right. You can detach it and just type on it. I forgot about that. Use your keyboard wisely. Detach your keyboard. Click change. Now, they made that look easy, but I didn't do it that easy. All right. I like it. So my biggest thing is going to be having apps that play well with each other because I'm I'm in I'm in both ecosystems. Right. So I'm on, you know, I might be on my iPad. I might be on my Mac. I might be on this laptop, which is the Surface Pro. Those are different operating systems. So I want to make sure that whatever app I use, no matter what device I use, no matter what device I pop, pick up, all of my information syncs seamlessly throughout them. So I know that if push come to shove, I could always just use the web version of Craft, which works awesomely well, which is what I use on my single board computers. So I know I could do that. But if I could have a dedicated application, I would much rather do that because it's not dependent upon me being on the Internet. Sure, I need the Internet to sync it, but it's not dependent upon me being on the Internet just to be able to use it. So. That's going to be something I play around with. I'm I, I'm going to have to figure some things out, needless to say. But over the next two weeks, I'm looking forward to exploring this device and seeing all that it have to give and all that other cool stuff. As far as the screen protector, the privacy shield, I'm probably going to put that on. But right now, I just want to just want to experience it without anything on it. So with that being said. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this so I can create more content just like this one. Till next time. Later.